Hello, I'm James. I'm the uh, the front man of folk rock band Plutonium. And um, we don't really necessarily have a genre or anything like that at all. You know, we are rock, we are this, that, any other. Anyway, today I'm going to talk to you about um, one of the songs which uh, eventually we'll be recording for the new album called Blue, right? Um, Blue originally you know originally i'd brainstorm and i'd write words pretty much far that way but um blue is different we wrote blue in rehearsal right um the chorus was pretty much written out on the day and we just went from there on in you know i remember saying to gary what what, what should the song be about initially you know and i thought right when you know a big thing to me, particularly Lucas, even to Bor, you know, and Gary and everybody else, we all have our own issues and things like that. And one person of which um, generally is very, very close to both me and Gary, he had um, severe mental health problems. And um, the song, you know, it has a verse in there for him, you know where um, he generally owed so many people money and things like that. And, you know, if you give a person who generally is quite openly taking drugs and things like that, if you give them money, you're only fueling that fire, you know. I don't really want to go too much into Simon's story because it's um, very close to me and it's very hard-hitting and... Um, upsetting to some degree you know we had some mad adventures and things like that and in one of these other videos at a later date I'll, I'll share a few of Simon's stories they're fucking funny you know they are true <laughs> bloody stories like you know and some people have their lives I have mine which is very colourful compared to others believe me but anyway yeah Blue I'll keep, dying. I'll keep going off on one don't I um, yeah, it's I, I, a lot of people, you know, you know me and everything else and a lot of my songs generally have sort of like a Johnny Rotten concept and things like that, you know, if you've got a good voice, use it, do stuff with it, you know, and it was something different with Blue, um, I wanted to do something different, you know, I very much like Iggy Pop and things like that. Um, I love Joy Division and bands like that. Even sometimes I find Joy Division depressing, but it's quite nice when you play them in the car and you have it, you know, mm -hmm. and it's enjoyable to obviously listen to, you know. And I wanted to to have that sort of moody element in, in blue, you know. I wanted to do that, you know, feed off everybody else's energy that comes across within our music and things like you know and blue obviously does that you know i mean i'll start the whole song it's pretty rocky to start off with you know not rocky just as in the elements of the music i meant rocky within the mood of the song itself you know it is very rocky you know you sort of you're in a dark place, you don't know your ins and outs, you don't know what's going on or anything like that at all. Negative surroundings, negative vibes and things like that. And it isn't just medicating those things, you know, you can't just do that. You know, I've, people that medicate and things like that, it's up to them. Um, I generally use escapism and things like that, i.e. my music, you know. A lot of people, you know, I'm big into my football and things like that, you know. I love my football. And and blue is sort of like being in a very, very dark place with no answers, you know. Um, not talking to people, which you should do when generally you are feeling like that, you know. You need to open up and be honest about it and... And don't let those things come into you, you know. And the last verse, you know, the last part where we had like the instrumental and then the breakup and everything else within the song, 
You know, I'm in a dark place right now. These feelings I have succumbed to. I'm in a dark place right now. This gun against my head. You know, it's the point of where you have given up. You know, you've had that concept. I'm in a dark place. I'm in a dark place. I'm in a dark place right here, right now. You know, and it it's great. You know, I'm in a lot of bands um, do generally write dark songs and things like that with good vibes. You know, one of my favourite bands, The Selector, generally do that. And, you know, they're an influence in this song as well. You know, we've all heard The Selector's song, Under Pressure, right? And that particular song had an influence on me, particularly when I was writing this one. You know, it wasn't just about the voices and Iggy Pop and things like that, you know. The Selector and Pauline Black had a pretty big influence um, actually writing this particular song, you know. I mean, go away, listen to Under Pressure by by The Selector, you know. It's pretty dark, you know, when you're in deep water and stuff like that and you, you know, feel as if you can get out of it, but... Within that music, it's very uplifting, you know, very uplifting. A lot of reggae and things like that as well. It's, you know, it's about being in the dark place, but with um, positive vibes surrounding it, you know. I mean, positive vibes has been uplifting music, you know. Music is the energy to the soul, man. You know, it's what it's what generally makes us. And, and if you don't generally enjoy music, then in general, you're very sad, you know, very sad. But yeah, I hope this has summed up, you know, for, from Blue and things like that. At a later date, I'll share with writing styles and things like that. But I just thought, you know, let's get something out there. Let's get something online and, and generally speak to those people. Don't generally speak, you know, have time or anything like that to actually speak to me. Because sometimes um, loading up gear and things like that from being in the band and stuff, generally we're busy, we're buzzing here, there and bloody everywhere, you know, as soon as we finish one place, you're packing your stuff and you're going home and you're back to work and things like that and, you know, it's, and work itself can be exhausting, you know, and Blue sort of had that element to it as well, you know, when you working all day and you finish work at 6 30 or something in the evening and you feel drained you know feel like nothing is positive at that time you know you come home and you feel like you haven't necessarily achieved anything because um you generally can't put your mind to it so how can you achieve anything and that in itself is what um Joni makes me feel blue. Um, also, as well with um, well, fan like swimming helps, you know, and general exercise and things like that. I remember going to swim baths on the Wednesday, and my whole arms are fucking twitching like fuck. You know, it's it's a horrible thing. It's stress, you know. But just be open about it. Find something to relieve yourself with. You know, if it might be. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we all find our own ways. But anyway, yeah. I think, you know, I've pretty much summed up Blue pretty well. Any questions or anything like that, you know, jot them on the bottom of here. You know, I don't know if you could subscribe or anything like that. I'm a novice to these things and I shouldn't be really, should I? But <laughs> I generally am. Um, anyone, anyway, I don't really want any pointers or anything like that. I just generally want to keep these videos generally for, uh, I don't need pointers because otherwise I, I just lose being myself. That's generally what I mean. Um, but yeah, I've generally been open about that song and I'm glad you know, you like to look back on this or something, I don't know. I'm mumbling, sorry. Anyway, I'll do another video in a bit. Enjoy what I've said about blue, right? Bye. <laughs>